wound up or dissolved the company. They sold off assets. He was asked if he ever got any of these assets. He said no. Ladies and gentlemen, I submit to you that Erika Stefenko is a scapegoat of Chad Cobb. He wants to use her to get out of prison. He has in his mind the fact that he's in prison for the rest of his days. He is got his good friend marrying his former wife after the divorce. His good friend is now living in the house that he used to live in. And if Erica is found not guilty, then he doesn't see how he's going to see his kids again. So, I'm going to take care of that. Like I said, plan A was the appeal. That didn't work. Now I'll get rid of Erica. I enlist my mom's help. We get a tape recorder going. And if Erica goes to prison, then I will get, or more accurately, my mom will get Casey and FC. And I'll get all the visitation I want. Ladies and gentlemen, you have six charges to consider. They each have elements, which I told you in opening statement, what I call subparts. The law says that if one of those subparts is missing from a particular charge, then you must find that person not guilty. You've heard about reasonable doubt. You've also heard about presumption of innocence and burden of proof. And, and those have all been defined for you by the judge. But I would ask you to pay particular attention to the complicity instruction. And that complicity instruction says, among other things, that you have to, as part of aiding and abetting, you have to find a shared intent or purpose. You will also hear the, the statement or description that mere presence of a defendant is not indicative of guilt. Now, you have heard about the phrase, beyond a reasonable doubt. It's kind of a fluid statement. It doesn't have any quantifying, am I okay here, Jeff? It doesn't have any quantifying figure in there. It just says what, what the definition is a judge gave. I would submit, that this is another way of looking at it. Man, can you see this? Yes. Okay. Reasonable doubt. Let me get out of the way here. Can you folks in the back, back by the clock, see that? In the alternates? Uh, Judge, I think two of the alternates cannot see that. 
Would it be permissible for them to move up? Well, I, I don't want to get anybody sick, or I could hold it up. All right. For you folks over in this side, reasonable doubt. A person is not guilty in your mind if there's no doubt whatsoever about them being guilty. But what if, in your mind, possibly, in this case, she did it? But what do you still have? Reasonable doubt. What if you have in your mind, well, I got a 50-50 thought about whether or not she did it. But what do you still have here? Reasonable doubt and not guilty. Let's get down here to probably she or he did it. What do you still have? Some reasonable doubt. If you get over here and you're satisfied either that she's guilty beyond a reasonable doubt or there's no doubt in your mind she's guilty. Those would be outside the not guilty. Alternates. Ladies and gentlemen, I would argue that Erica Stefenko is not guilty and that Chad Cobb not only is the real guilty person, which the state agrees with me, but I would also argue that Chad Cobb has put together a plot not only to sink her, but his real reason here is. What's his motive? Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't thought of it by now, it's real simple. It's revenge. That's what he wants, pure and simple. Revenge. Judge, do I have any more time? About two minutes. Well, with that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time. I believe Mr. Uh, Frenzy might have a few words, if not this Easter.